We are all one species. So this is the uh, video uh, screen that you see as you come into this uh, exhibit. Humans involved in response to a changing world. The, the message uh, that the exhibit appears to be delivering is that it was a rapid climate change that led to uh, extreme climate shifts that led to human evolution, not just uh, required humans to adapt to us, but the argument being made here was that humans became adaptable because they evolved during times of rapid climate change. You don't get to see that these are pretty slow climate shifts over time. Uh, if you see the chart at the end, one doesn't get to see that uh, the Earth's climate hasn't been shifted very much. <laughs> Past 10, years. As you can see here, today here, it still makes it look like the climate is shifting ra rapidly. Uh, ironically, only now, uh, because thanks to human emissions and greenhouse gases, is the climate shifting, frankly, thousands of times faster. Uh, we're driving the climate to change thousands of times faster than it has uh, in the past, but you don't get to see that here. So this, as you come to the end of the exhibit, you're asked to Im imagine your descendants. What might your descendants look like many millions of years from now? And we're now going far into the future. Imagine humans spend a lot of time on other planets. How do you think your legs and feet will evolve? Let's say long spindly legs for walking a low gap. Now we go further into the future. Humans talk by texting. Let's see. I'm going to say ten skinny fingers. And, it's, and, and in the past, we only had maybe tens of thousands of pre-humans uh, evolving uh, slowly uh, under conditions. Now we have almost 7 billion people, and we're going to have 10 billion people uh, living in areas that have been pretty stable since civilization evolved, uh, uh, developed, modern civilization, agriculture, in the last 11, 12,000 years. Um, this is a completely different situation. Uh, it's, we're not talking about uh, so the, the, the solution to the problem of, of, of rapid climate change that humans are creating isn't waiting, you know, thousands and thousands of years or uh, millions of years, millions of years to evolve. The, 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 the question is, what are we going to do right now? So I, 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 I actually think that this, that this part of the exhibit uh, really, really uh, uh, belittles uh, the challenge that we face and it kind of confuses the whole message of the exhibit. I, I don't understand what it's doing here at all. Do you think it's trying to discourage action on climate change? Well, it sends the message that whatever happens, we're going to evolve to it. And because we've evolved in the past. That's the message of the exhibit is, whatever came our way, humans evolved. And in fact, the reason why we're so adaptable is because of climate change. And now it says, you know, we can live on other planets, a uh, place where everything's heavy. Uh, People live in water. I just, I, I think this part of the exhibit needs to be, uh, you know, just should be removed. Um, so the, the message here, again, climate evolution. During the period of human evolution, Earth climate fluctuation between moist and dry, warm and cool. The challenge of surviving during these times of change shaped the course of human evolution. So according to this. Uh, scientific data, this has to be you know, analyzed and interpreted, um, we've had more uh, dramatic uh, uh, changes in the climate recently during the time when humans evolved. I think it's a little misleading, and I have a, a figure that I'll post um, that, that somehow suggests that today we've been seeing 
uh, uh, of rapid climate change. Ironically, it's you know plant and animal domestication. Human civilization began uh, with large-scale agriculture as we came out of the last ice age. What are we going to do with seven billion going up to ten billion people uh, evolving who, who settled in a pretty stable climate? What are they going to do when the climate is radically changed in, in a much faster pace than humans have ever dealt with in the past? This exhibit, frankly, uh, I think whitewashes that challenge by ignoring it almost entirely. If this were just a Smithsonian exhibit, I think it would be unfortunate. Um, the fact that it's been funded by someone who funds so many of the world's leading uh, you know, anti-science uh, disinformers and pro you know, uh, on, on the climate issue is doubly worrisome because uh, this uh, it just looks like uh, the Smithsonian's exhibit can be influenced uh, uh, by who funds the exhibit and maybe that isn't the case but I think it creates that appearance and I think it's very uh, it's very unfortunate uh, and I think it could be fixed uh, if the part of the exhibit on current human-caused climate change were just blunt about what we might face on our current emissions path, which this exhibit doesn't really talk about. It has that silly video exhibit of we evolving millions of years to the Earth smelling bad or a new ice age stuff that, that is just, you know, uh, uh, I, I, again, not the issue at hand.